How fun was that strike? Pretty fun. <laughs> this is my son, Nicholas. Oh, we got a double. I got a northern or a walleye. And I'm Roger Cormier, and we're fishing in spectacular Crane Lake, Minnesota, a place that we come every year. He just lost a smallmouth at the boat, and I'm throwing a jerk bait off the edge of this island, and these fish are on the summer chow. It is a nice walleye. Get a shadow wrap shad. Nicholas has got his buddy from school and sports, Ryan Hemingway, along with us on this segment, and there we go, a nice Crane Lake walleye. On a wrap -a. These fish are on the summer chow. There's schools and minnows all over the place. We've been up here a couple days fishing. The smallmouth are just on a tear, and nothing better than taking the kids out when the fish are biting well. But when they're biting top water, smallmouth, that is about as fun as it gets for kids. And when you can get a nice bonus walleye like that, it's a nice Crane Lake walleye. Fishing's fun. We're going to tell you about northern Minnesota walleyes and smallmouth bass. Fishing with the kids in Crane Lake, Minnesota. Should be a fun segment. Now, Ryan, you're gonna have to work hard in the back there because Nicholas has got first crack at these fish on the top, but that doesn't mean we can't get doubles and triples here. I'm throwing a, a jerk bait up off the bow and throwing it a little deeper water, and the kids are banging the shallows with these top water lures. Beautiful day for top water, nice and calm. Easy way to catch them, fun. Look at that thing, that's a nice fish. It's just like the one you hooked that we, that we dropped there. Beauty, hey, look at that. Look how good he ate that bait. That, he barely slurped that lure, but he's really well hooked. One right there, one on the top of the mouth. This gold color here has always been one of my favorites for smallmouth in northern Minnesota. We throw a lot of skitter pops and skitter props in that color. We do pretty well on these smallmouth. Dad couldn't take it anymore. He had to get in on the top water action too with these kids. It's so fun watching them catch them and help them out. And I've been throwing a jerk bait from time to time, but oh man, there's three or four with them. Look at the whole schools with them. Look at all those smallmouth down there following this one. Boys are throwing those skitter props and you know they're throwing them on spinning gear, just a six, six medium action. Either braid with a mono leader or just straight mono. Those shorter rods, they can do all the, the popping that they need with them. And it's easy for them to handle that spinning gear. I'm throwing a bait caster and I'm throwing some heavier lures. This is the Storm Arashi Cover Pop. It's a tail weighted top water. It's a really good largemouth lure, but typically catches some nice smallmouth as well. And you know, it's a lot heavier lure. You can throw it a real long way. Um, and this one, along with the Storm Arashi Top Walker 11, those are two of my favorite. There's a nice smallmouth from Crane Lake. This is one on a little, little hair jig. This is the way you catch a fish that chase the one that you got hooked. You got one that's hooked up and you just drop a little black marabou jig underneath them, hold it nice and steady. And then a trailing fish will bite. You know, they're hanging out underneath that hooked one that's spitting up minnows and crayfish and they're eating those regurgitated parts. And this little black hair jig is the easiest way to get those fish that are chasing the hooked one. Nice smallmouth. We're putting a few in the boat, boys. The community of Crane Lake has a wide variety of vacation options you can consider, and you can check these out on their website, cranelaketv.com. Uh, there are a number of hotels and motels, some great shopping and restaurants in town. Uh, the resorts have both American and housekeeping plan options, and they're beautifully situated here on the shores of Crane Lake. This is Voyagers National Park, and being a water-based park, there's a number of ways to access it. There's a houseboat operation, canoe outfitters, flying fishing operators. There's a marina that can give you services for your boat if you have issues during your vacation, and they also have uh, fishing boats, uh, skiffs, and pontoons for rent. There's an ATV association here in town that maintains miles of trails with ATV riding becoming more and more popular. The Northwoods of Minnesota is a great place to go riding. You can bring your kayak and canoe up here and access these waterways. There are also some spectacular hiking trails, especially the Vermilion Gorge. So if you're looking for a great northern Minnesota vacation, check out Crane Lake. This one's on a Nico rig. Ooh, this is fun. I'm actually using one of my St. Croix Icons walleye series rod, but it is a great male worm rod. When you're fishing with 
these worms or tubes and pitching to the shallows, you want to look for individual boulders. You know, I've got all the boulders, big bass. I've got all the boys equipped with Wiley X sunglasses, polarized vision, so you can spot these, these fish in the rocks. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful, big smallmouth. It's got a little VMC Nico hook right in the top of his mouth right there. And that had a little nail weighted worm on there. And that's a big one. Come on back here, Nicholas. Let's jump up here with Ryan. We got ourselves a trophy. And we had a great day fishing, huh? Yeah. You guys enjoyed yourself? Definitely, yeah, this is good. Unbelievable boy fishing here in Crane Lake. Great smallmouth fishing. We got some bonus walleyes and northern pike today. And most importantly, the kids had fun. The message I got for you today is take a kid fishing. We're gonna let this big smallmouth go. I'm Roger Cormier with my son Nicholas and Ryan Hemingway. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.